Hi and welcome to Harbor Stitcher. My name is Jen. This is my channel all about my cross stitch. I want to first of all say thank you for being here. To those of you who are coming back and have watched previous videos, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And for those of you who are just finding me, welcome. I am happy to have you here. This is floss tube number five and it's Sunday, October 8th. It's been a while since I've been here. I think it was mid-August the last time I filmed. There's a few reasons for that. One is life. Um, I think the last time that I filmed, I had just gotten back from a trip, a work trip to Wisconsin. And the day after I filmed, I flew out on another trip to Santa Monica down in LA for work as well. Got back from that and we were going to be heading out of town to visit my in-laws. Unfortunately, some health issues popped up in the family and we went into a whirlwind of a couple of weeks of dealing with those. So life was pretty crazy. Um, we're coming out the other side of that now. Um, and I was able to go and enjoy some time with my girlfriend. We went to the Michelle Buteau show in Seattle. I don't know if you don't know her. She's a wonderful stand-up comedian. Um, she also has hosted like barbecue shows on Netflix. She has a new Netflix special called Survival of the Thickest, which is um, it's kind of a rom-com series, which is really funny. But she does a great stand-up show. So we did that. Um, Got some more work travel coming up, and my husband and I are going to the Pink concert in, not next week, but the week after, or actually next week. Um, so a lot of stuff going on that has, um, life's just been busy, um, a lot of other things, so it took me a bit to get back. If I'm honest, I also am struggling with whether floss tube's the right thing for me, and that's part of what took me a while to get back here. Um... I started this with the intention of becoming a part of the community, and it has done that. I've had some really wonderful conversations, met some great people. However, I stitch because it's relaxing for me. It's my hobby. Work can be crazy, um, life can be crazy with kids, grandson, all of that. And I found that doing the floss tubes, prepping for them, thinking about them, was changing the way that I stitch. I was worried about, will this make good content? Um, am I ordering things that I can show and haul? Is there enough stitching to show? Instead of just stitching to stitch, which I don't want anything to ruin that for me because it is my relaxation. So still on the fence, thought I would come back and do another one, see how it feels, um, and then we'll take it from there. So if I do continue on with them, I'm going to be doing it on a monthly basis. Um, I think that'll just work best with my schedule and also it will be less that I'm thinking about with it and I can just enjoy the stitching. So that is, um, you know, where I'm at and why it's been a while. But I do have a lot to show you today, and I hope that you enjoy what I show and maybe get some inspiration or see some new designers. Um, before I jump into that, I do want to say a couple of thank yous. One, I want to say a thank you to the Globetrotting Stitcher for the shout out. She's somewhat local to me, um, just a little bit north, and we are going to plan a time to meet up and get some other stitchers together. I've already found us a location. I just have to nail down a date that works for everybody. It'll be later at the end of this month. So that'll be a lot of fun. And then I wanna share a new to me floss tubes. Many of you may have already known about her, but I just found her this week and it's Stitching in Costume. She's a great floss tube extra also that just came out where she tours um, this wonderful stitcher named Angie's home cross stitch studio and it was fantastic if i had a room that looked like that i would never leave my stitchy room and i would probably want to quit my job so that i could just stay in there all the time so i highly recommend you go check that out and um yeah that's kind of those were the shout outs and the thank yous that i wanted to say this week wow 
You can tell it's been a while since I've done one of these. It's a little bit rough right now. Um, but let's jump into the stitching. That's what you're here for. So I will start with, I had two start and finishes in the time that I've been gone. They're smaller, but they were fun, quick stitches because I just, you know, sometimes when you look at all your whips and you're like, nothing's speaking to me, but this pile of kits is just so exciting that I want to start one. That's what these were. So I jumped in and actually started and finished both of them. The first one is called Autumn Folk Bird by Yasmin Made With Love. Is that bird and those colors just not the most beautiful thing? It has a little bit of a Southwest vibe to it with those colors and with the pattern, but it's gorgeous. This is a pattern I got off of Etsy. Again, it's Yasmin Made With Love is the designer and you can find it in her Etsy shop. I used all of the called for DMC and then this was a 28 count Irish linen in the color tea dyed. And I don't remember if it was Charles Craft or DMC, but it's one that I got at Michael's in a tube. And I think it's Michael's. Um, actually, it was really enjoyable to stitch on. And I think it's a really pretty color. So I might see if I can find some more of it. Um, that was my first um, start and finish. The next one was a uh, Lizzie Kate inspiration boxer and I think it's not all of us this is the chart it's a cute just tiny little chart um, this was another fun quick stitch and let's see, let me go in. there we go it says not all of us can do great things but we can do small things with great love and thank you to someone on Instagram, I'm so sorry I don't remember your name right now, who pointed out that is a Mother Teresa quote. And once I went back and looked on the back of the chart, it does say, inspiration quote, Mother Teresa. I had missed that, and it's great to know where that came from. I stitched this one with the DMC. There's um, called for DMC Crescent Colors, so this is an older chart or anchor. I used all of the DMC column and this is a 32 count flax Belfast linen by Zweigart. It came with it. And so that is two over two on that. And those are my two finishes but they were starts and finishes in the time that I've been gone which is really fun to be able to say. Um, now we will jump into whips. I definitely have a pile of whips to show you. Um, with a lot of the stress and the things that were going on with the family over the last month or so, I had a hard time concentrating on just one whip or just even concentrating at all. And some days I was like, I just wanna organize something or nope, don't like that fabric. So I'm gonna pick new fabric for a project and maybe restart it. It just was a little bit of being all over the place. But in that, I also did get some good progress on a few of my projects when I was able to concentrate. The first one, let me bend down here and grab it, is actually a full, a new full coverage start, which this is Fishing Boats, which, you know, I'm the Harbor Stitcher. I do live in Gig Harbor. So boats and fishing and all that are a big thing around here. When I saw this chart on Etsy, I fell in love. I showed my husband, he fell in love, showed my mom, and she goes, that's the harbor. It is. This is exactly what it looks like when we walk downtown. So we have a fishing fleet that works out of town, out of the harbor here. It looks like this. So had to get this. This is a, it was originally artwork by Henrietta Van Staden, I think is how you say it. And she takes her work and translates it into cross stitch. She takes her paintings and does it. And so she's on Etsy as the Country Creative Stitches. So I got started on this. It is a pretty small start there, but it's fun. That is this top corner right up here. 
So I am doing this one, um, one over one full cross on 25 count, easy grade Lugana. So this will be, I haven't mastered tent stitching or really knowing how to like not make it twist your fabric or stretch it. So that's why I just stick with the one over one full cross on the 25 count. And it's easy, it's fun. Um, this is actually a pretty addicting stitch to get jumping into. And yes, that is a Yellowstone Dutton Ranch needle minder from Mad for Minders. Love that one. So that was my first whip. My next was, um, I worked, I think, two days in total on the Blue Flower Acorns. Pulled this back out to get some work on it. I had the outer border here done and one little squirrel, which to me, quite honestly, the squirrels actually look a little bit like mice or rats, but they're cute. So I was able to get in the words and then start on acorns down here in the middle. I just wanted to get to some color. I am doing this with all of the called for, and those are Weeks Dye Works. It's a combination of Weeks Dye Works and um, Classic Color Works. And this is on a 32 count limestone Lugana. This one's fun. I do love working on it and need to get it back out for a little bit more fall stitching. One thing I will say is I miscounted on this outer border. It is one stitch too wide, so I'm having to fudge the words and the mice on the inner border because I was not ripping all of that out. I will make it work somehow <laughs> and make everything line up and look. Next is Halloween Hamlet by Carolyn Manning. I, oh, I guess I do have a printout of it, of the cover page. This was not on my radar until Cat Stitch on Instagram, and then I went and checked out her floss too, mentioned it, and that she was going to do a year-long sell to complete this project. So I went and grabbed it. This is what the completed will look like. I have taken it and broken it up into, instead of, when we started it in, it was to start on September 1st and it was going to go till October 31st of 2024 is how Kat set it up. I want mine done October 1st of 2024 so that I have some time to frame it and get it FFO'd before Halloween and display it for next year. So I took mine and broke it into 13 sections and we'll just be doing one section a month. I can show you that here on my iPad if anybody, if anyone's interested in how I broke it up. You'll see the red outline around it. So I've got each little section of houses broken up and then I gave myself two months of filling in that inner road and border. So that is some dense stitching there. So where am I at with this? I have completed my first two months. Here we go. So in the first month, I outlined the inner border here. And then this month has been these two houses, the tree and the pumpkins. And what you'll see in here and why some of this fill in is like when I was doing the pumpkins, I had a little bit of the leftover floss. I figured, well, Let's not waste it. Let's just go fill in where that color shows up in another part of the road. So that's why some of that's getting filled in right now when there's leftovers. I have not done the back stitching on these houses. I think I'm going to save all of the back stitching until the end. Oops. And my witchy flamingo needle minder is upside down. Another needle minder from Mad for Minders. And I am stitching this one, again, all the called for DMC. This is a 16 count Heather from Fiber on a Whim. It's 
not showing quite as purple as it is in person, but let me see if I can get a beautiful fabric. And thank you to everyone who voted when I asked, should I do a purple or gray or other colors at one point? Um, purple was one out for sure. And so I did jump into it and I'm staying on top of it. I just finished actually October section last night. So um, very excited to keep up with that over the course of the next year. Let's see how that goes. Um, next is a restart. This is a project I had started last year for Halloween and really didn't enjoy the fabric I was working on. So decided to just set it aside and when the time was right I would restart it. And that is, oh sorry for the glare, Bewitched by Autumn Lane Stitchery. I love this, but that skirt is no joke. No joke. So I have restarted this. And here's where I'm at with the restart. I started in the middle on this one. Not normally a center starter, but I thought there's so much open up here that I would tackle this somewhat like a Mirabilia and start in the middle. So I've got her cute little striped socks, the start of her dress, and then her broom in there. This was a perfect needle minder, bewitched as well. Needle minder from Mad for Minders. And this is an 18 count that Ada that I dyed myself. I just cut a square and played with some Rit dye and dyed this one. I think it's gonna turn out really great. So I'm doing one over one on this and I love it. Actually, this is a really fun. All right, let's try this again. I accidentally bumped the mouse, which stopped the recording. So um, I was saying that that was actually a really fun stitch and I'm looking forward to continuing working on Bewitched by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Um, also had said before I realized I wasn't recording, um, I warn you that I've flitted around quite a bit over the last couple weeks and so there are a lot of whips here. I normally don't have this many, but it has been, what, six weeks and I haven't been able to focus. So I have two more to show. The next one is um, Five O'Clock by Ink Circles. This is one you've seen me working on in the past and it's fun to just pull it out, mix a couple drinks and call it mixing some drinks, stitch up a few drinks and then um, put it away for a little bit. But the colors are just so beautiful and vibrant and fun that it's one I am kind of dragging out because I don't want it to end. Um, also, I will say, I had put out a call previously asking what everyone thought that cocktail was. A lot of, lot of people came back with it has to have Kahlua in it to be that color. I think you're right, and I think between my husband and my mother-in-law and I, we have settled on it's probably a Colorado Bulldog, which is vodka, Kahlua, Coke, and a little bit of cream. And so I think that's what this one is here. Um, ooh, the sun is shifting, and I'm trying to get some lines on my face from my blinds. Sorry about that. Um, but here is where I'm at with this one love this. It is so fun to, like I said, get in there and just mix up a drink. I worked over here and got all of this in since the last time you've seen this. And this is stitched on 18 count jade by Picture This Plus. Love this fabric. So I'm doing one over one with the called for DMC. And this needle minder, which is super cute and goes with it perfectly, that is from the Black Needle Society. And I believe you can still find them in their vault on their website, if you were interested. I think this pattern might be on there too, because it was probably one of their boxes at one point in time. And they did like a whole happy hour theme. I just happened to find it separately, but love it. And my last whip was another restart, kind of like Bewitched. I didn't like the fabric, restarted it. It is my one and only Mirabilia that I've ever done, wanted to do, interested in doing. Um, 
It is the Golden Girl Apples. I started this on the called for fabric, which was Wichelt Milk Chocolate Linen. I started it on there. I was not enjoying this linen. It's stiff to stitch on. It was shredding my floss. And I thought, this is a piece that I'm going to be investing a lot of time and energy and effort into. I need to like what I'm stitching it on. And I wasn't. So I have actually changed it over and I'm really enjoying it. Here's my restart. This is the body of her dress. And I think some of the... It's the body of her dress here and then some of these apples coming out love this love it on this fabric that color is just those colors are popping off of here this is 32 count gingerbread lugana from picture this plus and it's gorgeous i love working on it it took me a little bit to get it this is a frame off of Amazon that a friend of mine had. It's kind of like a cross between a frame and a Q-snap because you snap your pieces in here. I have it loose right now for storage, but it took me a while to figure out how to load it correctly in here, but I wanted it in here so that it's one piece and when I get to the beading, um, I'm not trying to then figure out how to attach it to a frame or work around a Q-snap with the beads, anything like that. So just starting with it in that and I'm learning to use a frame which I actually really like. And it hooks into my Lowry stand, which right over here is my stitching spot. Um, my main stitching spot if I'm not downstairs with my husband. Um, it hooks into my Lowry stand really well with that size of frame. And so it's enjoyable to be able to two-handed stitch and keep things there and I won't need to worry about it when it keeps growing and then I get to the beading. So again, that is Golden Girl Apples from Mirabilia. That is it for my whips. So there was a lot, but it also didn't take as long as I thought it would to get through them all. So next, I only have a few pieces of haul um, just because of life and what's been going on. I, I could have done a lot of retail therapy shopping. I was trying to behave. So I did get a few patterns and that's about it actually. So what I got, um, Got this old waxing moon designs. When is this from? I want to say it's 2005. Um, Hocus Pocus. I think that is so cute. Found this. This was on a D stash group on Facebook. And if I can, I'm hoping I can find a frame like that too. But if not, I think you could easily find like some little wooden pieces and doctor up a. A plain black frame to look cute with this. I furthered my Stony Creek addiction that I have recently realized I have and I got the Let It Snow banner. Let me pull it out of this page for Dr. Hair. Show it without glare. Oh, it still has glare. Um, this one will be fun. It's just very classic winter to me. I love a good snowman, but these blues are just gorgeous. So I did get the blues. I got the couple of overdyes that it calls for. Look at the difference in those, even though they're the same color. Um, but I got those, so when I'm ready to start it, I can then throw in the rest of the flosses, which are DMCs, and be good. Sorry if you just heard the crows outside the window. Apparently they're chasing each other right outside our window. Um, and then I bought a couple of additional patterns off of Etsy. Um, I got Madame Chantilly's and I'm going to show it on here because it was one I did not print out and I can't show, even if I did print it, Madame Chantilly, when you order from her off Etsy, she emails it to you and your home address is across the whole. Um, chart and so that's a great copyright reason but it also means I couldn't necessarily show you those so this is just a picture off of Etsy um, 
This is my favorite. Our Autumn Essentials chart. Isn't that cute? The pumpkin pie and the foxes and the apples, the umbrella. I just think that is such a cute chart. That'll be next year's fall stitch. And then because I love the fishing boats so much from um, the Country Creative Stitcher, or the Country Creative Stitches, I love that fishing boats pattern so much. I went back to see what else she had, and this one, you guys, I kid you not, I looked at this for three weeks before I finally pulled the trigger because I was like, this is just too cute, but will I stitch it? Yes. Yes, I will. Look at that bunny. I 100% will stitch this so that it's up on my wall for in the spring. Now, this is a full coverage, and then the way that it's charted, all of this is stitched too. So that you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to find an over dyed fabric of some sort and just do the middle in here. I think you can still get a ton of the effect and it'll be just as cute, but I have to say her charting is great. They're easy to read, they're beautiful, and um, I left her a review on her Etsy of the Fishing Boats because I love it and I'm having fun stitching it. And she reached out and said, thank you so much for the review. Can I send you, like pick another chart from my store and um, I would love to send it to you. Well, now I have another one on my last stitch. So she sent me this chart and I just am so grateful and honored, but I picked out the three penguins. That reminded my husband and I showed him, immediately reminded us of our three boys. So there's another one that will go because I need another full coverage. Like I need a hole in the head. Um, I think I have five or six full coverage patterns right now, and there's no way I'm going to stitch all of them anytime soon, but, um, this light is going to drive me crazy now that the sun's come out. Um, but it'll be fun to have them get them started and get going on it. Um, so that was all my haul. Like I said, it hasn't been very much and, um, there's just been a few patterns as well as a very gracious gift, which I will have her Etsy shop linked below because it was very very generous of her to reach out and offer me that and like I said I love her charting so if you love beautiful kind of watercolor style or um, unique artwork style then um, I just think her watercolors that she then charts are so beautiful so definitely check out her shop um, and as I said I'm trying to figure out how this is going to go for me and um, future videos. So I say it's probably going to be about a month, um, be a monthly thing when I will be back, but I hope to be back. I hope that I can keep doing this because it really has brought joy to be a part of the community and has connected me with some people that I probably wouldn't have connected with otherwise. So thank you to everybody. Um, please remember to be nice to each other. I think that's something I've really been noticing a lot more in social media in all avenues. I, I see it a lot in the world I work in in video games. There's a lot of kind of toxicity at times and I'm seeing it leak into other avenues of the internet and communities and I just want to say please just be nice to everybody. Let's all bring a smile and what's that saying? Like be the reason somebody smiles today. Let's all aim for that every day. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and um Hit that like and subscribe button if you do enjoy kind of my ramblings and stitching. So I appreciate it and everyone have a wonderful stitchy week or month until I'm back and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.